Hello, welcome to Midlands Today with Suzanne Verdi and Nick Owen. The headlines tonight. Killed in a remote... And I'm live in Tamworth where the lambs from non-league are ready for a spot of FA Cup giant killing tomorrow lunchtime. Taylor tonight. Nail-biting weekends of the sporting year, the FA Cup third round. Oh yes, only one of our non-league teams has made it this far and tomorrow they're at home to Norwich City. So let's go live to Tamworth where the excitement is mounting and Ian Winters there. Ian. Suzanne, Tamworth may be fighting for their lives in the nationwide conference but they have three secret weapons to beat Norwich City tomorrow. Weapon number one is Tammy the Lamb. The mascot is fit and raring to go. Weapon number two, a special shirt. Tamworth against Norwich City to mark this very special game in the history of the conference club. And weapon number three, uh, Buster, the Tamworth kit man, who tells me quite simply that Norwich City just aren't used to getting changed in porter cabins like this. At 12.30 tomorrow lunchtime, it's showtime. Good it on. Bring it. Tamworth have been drawn at home against Norwich. That'll be the biggest game in the club's history. When the cameras roll, the cash rolls in. Being live on the BBC means £150,000 to Tamworth. So today, this tiny ground was transformed into a sporting arena to entertain the nation. Match commentator Steve Wilson will sit up there. The studio pundits will pontificate from here. And all with a little help from 12 cameras, umpteen miles of cable and satellite dishes to beam Tamworth's big day all over the world. The magic of the FA Cup is still burning brightly in this corner of Staffordshire. You know, top chef Delia Smith is the famous face behind Norwich City. And lamb is one of her favourite recipes. Just have a look at them. Braised lamb, roast lamb, lamb kebabs, lamb chops. But no mention in any of her cookbooks about Tamworth lamb for Saturday lunch. Let's have a chat with the Tamworth manager, uh, Mark Cooper. How much are you looking forward to this game, Mark? Yeah, immensely. You know, we're, uh, we've been waiting for it for a few weeks now. And uh, we've done all our preparation and, and we're ready to go. You had them watched against Wolves when they drew 2-2. Two -two. What were your impressions? Very good. Thought they did very well on the day, very unlucky not to win the game. Uh, and the two strikers that they've got in uh, Dublin and Earnshaw are, are a handful for anyone. How can you, as a struggling conference club, prevent Robert Earnshaw from scoring where so many championship teams have failed to do that this season? Well, I think, I think probably the best idea we've got at the minute is to try and hijack him as he comes round the corner there before the game. Um, but no, we've, we've done a little bit of work. Um, in the two sessions we've had this week on, on how to cope with it. And, uh, you know, if we can get through the first 20 minutes without too much damage, then uh, we, we've got a little bit of a chance. What's the mood been like in the town? Because, of course, 12 months ago, you took Stoke City to that replay before losing on penalties. How does it compare? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we're going to be in the, in the national spotlight tomorrow. It's great for the town, great for the club and everyone associated with it. And uh, the whole place is buzzing at the minute. Mark, may the best team win. You know, not everyone is hoping for an FA Cup upset tomorrow. Just ask Mickey Adams, the Coventry City manager's job is on the line if the Sky Blues get knocked out by Bristol City tomorrow afternoon. Dan Pallet reports. If There's full coverage, of course, on all the FA Cup ties on your BBC local radio station. Let's just have a quick look at those games. The competition gets underway tonight with Hereford away to Bristol Rovers and Stoke against Millwall. Tomorrow, Birmingham, West Brom and Wolves are all at home. On Sunday, Man United against Villa is live on BBC One at 2 o'clock. And by then, of course, we will know if Tamworth have indeed succeeded in pulling off the biggest shock in Air FA Cup history. Norwich beware, the Lambs are ready and willing for action. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, oh, good luck, dear. Tamworth. Yeah, let's take Willie Delio and it, crying into a lamb yeah. stew and a hot pot, whatever it is. They'll have Norwich on the rack, won't they? Yeah, but <laughs> uh, good. I'm glad we haven't had too much mention of the crew.